First you need to download and install FFmpeg in your system. You can download it from its official site. Link will be provided in the description. So here we have our video file whose thumbnails we wanted to be generated. It is a good practice to generate thumbnail after one minute. And here we have Bootstrap Darkly which we will be using for layout and design. This is index file where we will be working. First we are going to link the CSS file. And by default it gives the black background to body tag. Now we are going to create a container which will enclose all the other tags inside it. We are giving offset so that it will have some margin from left. And call MD will specify the width. Create a form tag whose method should be post. And we need to give an attribute encoding type and its value must be multi-part form data. It is required for uploading files. Now we are going to create an input field for selecting video. Form group will give some margin from top and bottom. This will be visible above the input field. Creating an input field for video. Type must be file. Name will be video so that it can be used in PHP code. Except attribute will tell which files are allowed. So we are making it to make all type of video files. This is a bootstrap class and it will make the input field to take full width. And required attribute will make this field compulsory to have at least one video. We can make this form in the center by applying some margin from top. Now create a submit button which when clicked will submit the form. Class primary will make the button to have blue background color. And value attribute will be visible inside the button. Now we need to tell the page where this data should be sent. We will create this PHP page. Make sure the name of file must be same as in action attribute. First you need to receive incoming video file in a separate variable. We will be receiving this in built-in files array. First index will be the name of input field which is video. And second will be name, this will return the name of selected video. Now we are going to run the command to generate thumbnails. The command has multiple parameters. First is the path of FFmpeg. Generally it is stored in user's bin folder. If you have set it in your environment path variable, then you do not need to enter complete path. Second parameter will be the input video file which we are receiving in video variable. And it will be preceded by minus i. Minus vf means video frame. We need to tell after how many seconds do we want to generate one thumbnail. FPS means frames per second. Since we wanted one thumbnail in each minute so we will be dividing it by 60. And last we have the name of output file which are thumbnail images. As you know it will return multiple images based on length of video so we wanted to give names to new files dynamically. We wanted to have thumbnails named as output hyphen, 001 and 002, and 3, 4 and so on. So we will write this expression. This means that we will have three digits with leading zeros. An extension will be PNG. You can change it to JPEG or any format of your choice. We have saved the command in a variable now we need to run it. We will be using built-in system function that will execute that command.
and then echo some string to check if everything works fine. As the selected video has a very high resolution, that is why it is taking more time to generate thumbnails. The video length was about 4 minutes so it has created 4 thumbnails. One for each minute. And this was the actual video. So that's all for now. If you need any help, feel free to ask in the comments section below.